and I was on Disney Channel my days off, I was in conversion therapy. My parents are very, very conservative. Queer kid growing up in the South, I would wake up, oh no, I'm still alive, what do I do? Oh. So basically like I came out to my parents like that kind of way because of the, the show the that I was in. It, it was it was bad. My mom like collapsed sobbing and my dad hit me up like the next day and he was like being gay is a choice and I have set you up with reparative therapy. And this place was Christian and their selling point was you look at any billboard in LA and see any male actor, they've been through these <gasps> walls before. And what they taught there was that there's no such thing as a gay man. There are straight boys who were born with sensitive artistic temperaments who have emotionally overbearing mothers and emotionally unavailable fathers. And when I experience shame or insecurity, I seek out SSA, which is same sex attraction. And I want the love of a straight man, which I'm never going to get. And then it turned into that thing that I think as pop culture, we're always afraid that conversion therapy is, which is like shock therapy. I would have these silver rods that I would have to hold in my hands. They would try to build up your tolerance for like the electric shocking until it was like painful. You would imagine scenarios like you go and you walk up and hug a straight man. And when you hugged the straight man in my mind, they would zap my hands like the electric shock to like zap that out of you kind of thing. Something happened to me one day where I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't have to be here. I at that point had started making close friends that I considered family like Haley Kiyoko, who was a guest star on So Random. Demi's family. That's my family. That's my soulmate. Mm -hmm. And since I came out about my conversion therapy story on TikTok, I've had other celebrity gay men, actors who were like, I went there too. <gasps> I know that place. Oh, goodness. 